In this video, we're going to be going over what are the five best long range rifles after the season one reloaded update. This is going to include TTKs as well as recoil. So before we get into the guns and the builds, I do want to show you the TTKs of these weapons and the ones that are actually viable. So we've picked all the kind of viable guns. Now, obviously, Modern Warfare 2 guns are ruled out because all TTKs are insanely slow. You can check that on the true game data for yourself if you really want to go ahead and compare. But the main ones we want to focus on are the ones that are right here. Now, the DG LSW, which is an LMG, got nerfed. Not as viable as some of the options on this list now. Also, the MCW did get a buff. However, it is a super low recoil option, and it's probably the best super low recoil option uh, if you're struggling to control weapons, that is. But in terms of TTK, it's still not great. And then on top of that, um, there's a couple of other guns as well, which just don't really make the list, unfortunately. Um, so these are the ones that are definitely viable. And obviously we'll go over which ones are low recoil, which ones are obviously the best for beginners as well. So when it comes to which ones actually just kill the, the quickest, we're looking at the Ram 7, the Bass B. We've also got the KVD Enforcer in here, which is actually a marksman rifle. So this is going to kind of replace that MTZ Interceptor. And it actually has a slightly similar TTK to what the Interceptor had um so this is like the before nerf interceptor it does fire kind of similarly in terms of rate of fire as well so you could have a really good choice here uh, and it's probably going to be a broken choice again um so until this gets also nerfed so again this is basically going to fill in for that uh, then we do also have guns like the pumio which does make it here as well even though it got nerfed it's not the best or fastest killing lmg in the game now but it's still a solid choice Another gun that I do want to point out is the Holger 556, which is the LMG option of the Holger. And this gun is actually pretty solid because it's a super low recoil choice. Um, and then also the Bruin is another one that um, is definitely doing well in terms of TTK uh, also. So that is a couple of the weapons that are on this list right here. Uh, the MTZ762, bit of a tough weapon to use, has a small mag. So even though it does make the TTK list... It's not really going to be a viable choice. And the Tack Eradicator is only here because it's probably the only real viable super low recoil choice that's in this game, even though it did still get nerfed. So now that we've went over the actual numbers of TTKs, let's get on into some builds. Starting off with the KVD Enforcer, because I actually want to show you the recoil on this gun as well. So this is the build that you want to be using. So the Spitfire Suppressor, uh, the Cat, the Cast Mod Barrel, uh, Bruin Heavy Support Grip, 20 round mags, which is the largest ones available for this gun in particular. You've got a 15 round mag option, but you will need the biggest ones. And then the Eagle's Eye Optic. So taking this into the firing range, I do want to show you this pretty quickly. So it does kill relatively quick and it does fire a little bit faster than the Interceptor if you are spamming it. Obviously, you want to make sure you're landing your shots and it does crack armor pretty quickly as well. Pretty much within two shots, you're going to get armor cracks there. So this is going to be a good replacement for that Interceptor. Next up, we've got the Ram 7, which is the only actual assault rifle that makes this list. And even though it does make the list... I don't think it's the best choice and the reason for that is the recoil is still a bit weird to manage and I'll show you that in the firing range in just a second but when it comes to the build, Spitfire Suppressor, Heavy Barrel which is the core mark heavy, for some reason we can't unlock the X10 which would actually be a really good choice especially for sniper support but for some reason we can't unlock this, it's a bit strange. Uh, we've got the angled grip, you could use the Bruin heavy grip as well, both are good choices, uh, 60 round drum mags and Eagle's Eye Optic once again. So what I want to show with the recoil of the Ram 7 is that it does start off a bit crazy, but as it levels out, you can definitely land your shots. So you kind of just need to get past that first initial recoil pattern of this gun, and then it does kind of even itself out after that. It's a bit weird. You are going to miss the first few shots unless you're pretty close. So at close range, not noticeable. Uh, at medium range, probably not as noticeable, but the TTKs are pretty insane. But then, like I said, at that long range here, you're going to notice it kind of wiggle off. And then after that, every single shot after that will be pretty straightforward. Now, if you use the gun repeatedly, you will be able to manage the first few shots as well. And for keyboard and mouse players, they'll probably be able to do it a little bit better as well. But for the most part, if you are on controller, the first couple of shots are a bit difficult to manage. Next up, we have what is my personal favorite gun to use right now. And it's probably not the best choice, but in terms of landing your shots, this is probably going to be one of the better options when it comes to beginner players trying to pick what is the best TTK and recoil control balanced weapon and that's the Holger 26 which is the LMG variation of the gun. Now this gun is absolutely solid, TTKs are good and you will be landing every single shot. So Spitfire Suppressor, Factory Barrel here which is the best barrel for this, OLE Laser which is going to help with the ADS times, you can swap this attachment out for a bigger mag, a recoil control attachment if you need to. Um, so that is why you've got a bit more to play with here because the mags are large enough at 60 rounds 
uh, we've got the eagle's eye optic once again and the Bruin heavy support grip once again so the Holger 26 and the DG LSW before it got nerfed um, are pretty much the same gun, more or less. They had similar TTKs and everything. Uh, but this gun now, obviously, because it never got nerfed, is actually is the better choice, obviously. So as you can see, you're definitely going to be hitting your shots at range once you learn the recoil. It's very, very easy to use. Also, you've got a big mag option here. And you can play around with certain attachments if you want to to try and control the recoil a bit better. But as you can see, it's very easy to use. One of the easiest guns on this list, in fact. Next up, we have probably what is going to be the most used gun, and I'll be honest, it's going to be the Bass B. And that's because everyone's already leveled this gun up. It was already been kind of a meta weapon for a while, and it still pretty much is a meta weapon, and everyone's probably currently running this gun right now as we speak. And it is a solid choice when it comes to TTK, so that is kind of the main thing of this weapon. Now, it's not super difficult to use either, which is kind of what makes it really, really powerful. So we're using the Spitfire Suppressor once again, the Venom Long Barrel, angled grip or you can use the brune heavy grip 45 round mags which is the only thing that lets this gun down and then the eagle's eye optic once again now the crazy thing about this gun is that it's not got super high recoil now i wouldn't say it's maybe as easy as the hoger to control uh probably about the same actually to be honest the only difference is obviously the hoger you're going to get a bigger mag more uh, chance to miss your shots there as well um so that it is a bit more forgiving with the hoger in general but this is definitely going to be a meta choice and everyone's definitely running the bass speed right now and as you can see it shreds through the armor plates as well and last but not least sticking with the lmg meta we've got the Bruin mk9 has a solid recoil control but also it's got really good ttks as we've shown earlier in this video and that was also chest shot ttks at 300 hp now the build for this is the xrk horizon barrel which is going to help with bullet velocity recoil control uh, the Spitfire Suppressor, the Bruin Heavy Grip. We're also using the 60 round mags to get faster ADS to make it feel more like an assault rifle. And then the Eagle's Eye Optic once again. Now showing you this one in the firing range as well, as you can see here, you're definitely able to land your shots once you get used to the weapon. Obviously I've been switching between all these different guns here. But as you can see, close range, very easy. Long range, also very easy as well. Again, is it easier than the Holger? I'm not really sure. I think it's about the same, to be perfectly honest. Uh, so both of these are kind of quite similar in a way. Uh, but you do get a slightly faster TTK with the Bruin instead. So that's probably going to come down to preference. I do think you'll land a couple more shots with the Holger. Uh, but that's going to come down to which one you prefer to use, what's easier to use for you personally. Uh, but that is it. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something new, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.